Eyewitness News 3 at 5.30 continues. The Idaho Falls Symphony is getting ready for its upcoming seasonal performance of American Voices, but this concert is significant in more ways than one. Eyewitness News 3's Ashley Chilcutt is live at the Civic Center in Idaho Falls right now. Ashley. That's right, Todd. I'm standing right in front of the Civic Auditorium in Idaho Falls, where Julia Tai will be conducting the Idaho Falls Symphony for the first time tomorrow. This is the venue where a guest conductor is making Idaho Falls Symphony history. So my name is Julia Tai, and um, I'm the music director at, with the Missoula Symphony and Chorale, and not just neighbor, uh, not too far away. And I'm so thrilled to be here this weekend to conduct the Idaho Falls Symphony. She is the first ever woman conductor to lead the symphony in concert. Well, I'm glad to be the first one, and I have been first one in a lot of different places, but um, I'm honored to be in that role, and I hope there are many others to follow after this. Her love for music began when she was just three years old. I started music when I was very young. My mother was a um, high school music teacher, and she also directs a church choir. Um, so I always said I started going to rehearsal before I was born, because I had no choice. <laughs> and so I was very immersed in music. Um, all through my childhood, I picked up the violin when I was four, and I loved playing um, in the orchestra, accompanying the choir, and I play in weddings. She says it is uncommon for orchestras to be led by female conductors, but she's happy to pioneer the space for other women in the field. So the, I think the statistic is about 10% of um, conductors in this country are uh, female conductors. So we're still the rarity uh, in a sense, but um, things are changing right now. And um, when I took the job with Missoula Symphony, I was also the first music director up there. And so I think things are changing. Um, it's uh, becoming more, um, more, it's becoming better now, but it's still not quite um, equal. The concert theme is American Voices, which seeks to highlight significant contributions women have made to classical music throughout history. Carrie Athey, the executive director with the Idaho Falls Symphony, is excited to welcome Julia Tai to the stage for this event. Our primary sponsor for this concert is a group of women called Elevate Her Music and their goal is to promote women in the arts through the Idaho Falls Symphony. It's a wonderful goal. We have this opportunity to work together to highlight and to uh, facilitate growth amongst women in the arts. This symphony concert will include folk music, sacred music, indigenous music, popular music and patriotic tunes. You can actually learn more about those American voices featured in the concert that will happen tomorrow. Uh, at 6.30, Julia Tai will actually be available to talk about the history of the music and even give more on the composers that will be featured. Reporting here in Idaho Falls, I'm Ashley Chilcutt. Okay, Ashley, thanks a lot for that. Tomorrow night, that's uh, the, the pre-concert when she'll talk to, to the fans and the public. Mm -hmm. And The concert itself is at 7.30 tomorrow night there in the Frontier Center for the Performing Arts. Tickets for the Idaho Falls Symphony concert are still available on our website. Prices range from $20 to $45. Discounts are available for students, and the broadcast will also be live streamed. Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Probably draw out a pretty big crowd tomorrow night. Yeah, especially uh, since we're looking at some cold temperatures tomorrow night.